Hi, it's Gail, five of four. I um, want to show you this little haul that a friend found for me. It's like I have, you know, all kind of people now looking for stuff. And um, my other friend who gave me all those curtains, those beautiful curtains that you can never even find anymore, those white ones, and all those spools of thread. Um, I didn't take everything because we weren't sure that maybe, you know, the other part of the family wanted something. But she said, if I want them, I can have the rest. Now, I'm already overwhelmed with stuff. But I take everything so I can share with everybody. But it sure is a pain in the neck sending stuff. I'm talking about just, it's so overwhelming, it seems for me to decide what everybody would like, what they want, put them in bags, boxes, send them. I think I'm gonna get that thing where the mailman picks them up or something because it just oh, it gets to be a lot. Okay, look at this. You're gonna drool. These are pillow shams. This is a pillow sham. She, she got them, this says $12 each, but she got them two for eight. So she was sending me pictures on the phone. Do you want this? Do you want that? Poor lady. I should have went up there. But I figured people that did this kind of stuff would grab all the good stuff first. And there was a bag of feathers. I said, no, I don't need feathers. I have a few. Let's see. And then these. I guess there were a bunch of them. Actually, she was telling me the prices, and then I thought, well, I made you the book. But I have so much stuff. I could have had as many of these as I wanted. They're pink silk, and she said it's kind of like somebody made bows out of them, maybe for a wedding or a party. I said, yeah, but just give me two. So I probably should have taken more. Cause they are nice and then this blue runner be nice for a dresser do I have blue anywhere I to keep this up here so I don't have to keep bending over and you see the top of my head. Some vintage napkins. I mean, um, handkerchiefs. And I've used, you know, I think I told you my aunt um, had collected a bunch and her name was Dorothy. And that's why I had the ones with the D's that I'd given a couple people. And um, because when she died, she gave the rest to my sister because my sister made a, um, long time ago, she made a tablecloth from napkins and I thought they just sew them together, which I guess you can, but I guess what she did was she got a white piece of material or tablecloth and then sewed all the napkins on top. yellow one. This is a big one. Someone with a big nose must have got this one. My dad always had had handkerchiefs. I can't imagine. I don't know. A lot of people do. And sometimes I'll keep one in my purse just because you know, she's crying or your nose starts running but not to blow my nose in. Another one, pretty trim.
And then look at this, four really pretty white ones. All ironed beautifully. It would make nice pages, I think, to a book or covers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Six or seven. This, just a little, you know, one of those ones you buy. And there was a little bit of jewelry there. I told her. Go ahead and get it. There wasn't really, I don't even think I looked at this yet. There wasn't really anything except somebody had made a necklace out of these three little doilies. Those are pretty earrings. Because the picture she sent me, I could tell there wasn't really anything that I needed, but, and then there are are these and I've used those these they say things discipline um just like I don't know all kind of things you can put them on stuff and this pin look at this the kids ring around the rosy I think that's what they're doing anyway so look I already had two dollars on here she ended up getting everything for five dollars which is good and the other earrings not here I like that one Sometimes that's what I do. Um, if I need earrings, I just go through the the box. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. Remember that what that all those watches I got that I said I was gonna. I saw a um, a tutorial on Pinterest. I hope it was a tutorial. One one's in the other room, but I took these off so that I can make a. A bracelet out of these watches. I took the faces off. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Then, you know, a lot of these really pretty pillowcases, um, there's some white ones I had gotten before that have um, just some pretty work in them, especially that lady. That I got that stuff from Neiman Marcus. But look at this. This is Diana always likes anything embroidered. But you wouldn't believe how much of the stuff I use, like for dresser scarves, and there was one thing I got um for my bed. Um what's the thing for the bottom that hangs over the side? And then she gave me this. This was hers. But it's like this jacket, but there was some nice uh, parts to it. To it, to it. And the collar. I mean, you can tell it's, you know, old but it's always something salvageable oh and my sister gave me the other day she gave me my niece's first holy communion dress and she said i bought it for her i don't remember that but it does have a lot of pretty you know it's not she wasn't that kind of a frilly kind of girl. She was thin and uh, 
that's how I washed and everything, but I, I don't think I could cut it up. Because, you know, kids, I won't bundle them all together, but most kids, mine included, could care less about sentimentality or any of the stuff that they had as kids. And I made sure that all, all the girls, even my nieces and my granddaughters, they all wore the same baptismal um, dress and bonnet and all that stuff because it meant something to me. Probably irritated the hell out of my kids, but they didn't say anything because they like all new stuff. And same with my sons. Um, it's only a couple boys, my, my son and I have two grandsons and they all wore the same one my son wore. So to me, that means something. Just like I kept my grandmother's um, missile or her Bible and it's all in Slovak because she used to sit and rock and I used to sit by her. And that's how I learned how to say a lot of my prayers in Slovak. And my aunts, my mother's sisters, there were two brothers and eight sisters, then my mother. None of them can remember much Slovak and they crack up when I say Hail Mary and, and um, uh, our Father and the Glory Be and all that stuff. And so sometimes when I want people to think I'm really well versed in Slovak, I start rattling that off and they don't know, people don't know what it is. They just think I'm talking in a different language. <laughs> but my aunts still crack up because they don't, my oldest aunt had died and she remembered the most. But you know, when you're a kid, you're not really interested in all that stuff. So, but I was, I used to sit right there and and I still do the same thing with people. You know, I know a little French, so they're French. I, I, you know, ask them, how do you say this? How do you say that? And I, I drive everybody crazy with questions. And um, I know that, but, um, oh well. Then look at this, and I still have a couple whole items from before. Like I have a, this is a round, um, round or oval tablecloth that's, uh, what's it called? Um, oh geez. Um, I just was talking about this before. You know what it is. But it's in one nice piece. Um, begins with a B. God. I know sometimes when people can't think of things, I want to jump through the camera and tell them. But I have another white one in there from when I got the drapes. I still have quite a few things that I didn't cut up. And then there's, this has a hole in it, but it's that um, linen. Isn't that pretty? Just we don't mind cutting up because it's got a hole in it. But I have a beautiful linen um, cover too that I think is whole. I don't know if this is it. No, but this is some kind of a scarf or something from, I was trying to put things away. Isn't that pretty? I don't even remember getting when I got this. But that's a beautiful trim in the middle there. It's almost like you hate to cut some of this stuff up. 
and this was from before. It's just that I was trying to figure out where to put half this stuff. And okay, I think that does it for that kind of stuff. But she did bring me, um, she said she got it from work. I don't know what kind of work she does or whatever. Somebody brought in all these samples. But wait you see this. I was like, oh my gosh. Talk about snippets. Talk about Roseanne. Look at all these. Little pieces. Try not to double up on here. Look at that one. There's, I counted 46. Almost looks like covered buttons on there, but it's not. I thought I was more excited about this. Not for me so much. Look at that. It's for other people. Pinks. I made myself a bigger mess. Can't people see my four. This one, this one, this one. of them are all pretty much the same. And she said, you know, I started to think that maybe we could use these. And I'm like, yeah, anything you get, just bring my way. Why do I say that? I don't think I've seen any names. Of course, I haven't gotten to look real well. And if I haven't answered any of your comments, starting to get caught up a little. Um, I don't think I've seen any names as far as people wanting to be involved in the... I know Roseanne does. The snippet of the scrap swap. Snip a person's treasure. I need people to start saving for me because I tell them and I think I'm going to go in the neighborhood app and put it in I don't think I'm really crazy is to save me some of their avocado skins because I don't have any more and I don't have any more avocado um, stuff for I just use a little butterfly the rest of mine today that I had in the freezer. And I didn't even think I had that, but I did. And then I had done some, um, 
I don't, I don't know if I ever tea stained or coffee stained before. My idea of coffee staining would be after I drank a cup of coffee. I say, I want to see how this works, and I probably dunk something in there. <laughs> but that's not the way. But I asked, I was talking to Awakening Angel, and, and I know that there are some videos out there, and I know that um, Roxy has done one also, but I just, I only had like three tea bags, and I put them in this tea kettle, I haven't had a tea kettle in years, but I had bought that in an old percolator at a thrift store, just to keep on my stove for fun. So I had the tea kettle and I, after sort of whistling, I dumped them in there and let them set for a few hours. And then she had said to, um, what she does is put a drop of like red food coloring in it. Well, I didn't have any red food coloring, but I had some kind of spray bottle with some kind of red stuff in it that I mixed up. So I did a couple sprays of that. I figured red's red. And it all came out like tea stained. I guess I just, unless it's on something and I can see, you know, how it adds to it. Um, the coffee and, and tea stain stuff doesn't do a whole lot for me. But I, I did do some of the uh, pink from my rest of the avocado stuff that I had. And um, I did some tea stuff. And because there's always a time. Now if I can just figure out what to do with all this stuff. A Tully's, Tully's Crafts. She's the most organized person to a fault, really. She keeps buying different things um, getting rid of and buying different things to uh, be organized and she said it took her 10 days and she took every single thing she has is by color in a bag or in something in these drawers and she's showing me at, you know as I have this mess everywhere here trying to figure out where to put everything um and it's really nice because she knows right where to go she does more of the paper stuff and that kind of thing but like i said i still like i like to buy my like the antiques and the different things to hang things on and i'm not you know like a squared up person but I should have, I do have, did buy that one white dress, um, chest of drawers that if I could fit it in here, I, I should have it for, um, some things that are more organized or on these things that I showed you that I had gotten, there's so much room. I guess I could buy the small ones, drawers like and stick them in there. But it's coming together, I guess, little by little. I'm finding things I never knew I remember I had. And the thing behind, um, remember that floral thing that had the lid on it and you could sit on it or, and the, you can put stuff in it. It's old fashioned. Well, I forgot, I also have that big black trunk I, I got. Like, I really needed a black trunk. And that's filled upstairs with wedding stuff and satin and everything. So, there's no way to separate all this stuff. I'm just going to have to... Um, and those, remember the four stacking um, things I got at the thrift store for only 
twenty dollars. They're all toe painted and they kind of stack. Well, I kind of separate them, and in each one I put something different. You think I know what's in any of them? I'm gonna have to put um, like a piece of paper on it or something because they're sitting right here in front of me and I have no idea um, what's in them at all. I did the one little old fashioned thing over there that Diana painted for me and then she decoupaged this napkin on it. Um, I did put all my wedding, you wouldn't believe after all those wedding dresses, I was looking around for a pink, like a pinkish dyed um, uh, one to put on the bag that I made to put the book in for the lady, for Mary. And it's like, I hardly had any um, wedding appliques. <laughs> I really did give most of them away. But where did I get some? The other day, somebody sent me some. Oh, no. I bought a few from down a little. Plus, I still have a wedding dress upstairs. And I have the bodice of one here. And um, so the things... I have so much stuff that the things, when I go to get it, look for it, it's like I don't have that particular thing because I gave them all away. And now the wedding dresses aren't what they used to be. They are expensive. And that one Goodwill kind of got la di da and I don't like it. It's not fun anymore. Before, I mean, the wedding dresses were just scrunched in there and, you know, if it was half price day, they were cheap. Now they're all more expensive and it's not any fun. The Salvation Army, you can get more things at, I could practically walk to it if I could walk. So, okay. I said I was gonna quit blabbing. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I needed to show you. Um, I don't think so. I am making a topiary for someone, but I don't want to show it yet. Uh, and it even lights up. So I will talk to y'all later. I hope you enjoyed my videos. And I don't even have to splice or edit or anything because there weren't any phone calls in between to screw it up. Um, and I did get the one video editor, but it's like, it's like Greek, you know, the arrows and the, this and the, that, it's like, I need someone just to tell me what to do. Um, like I said, I must've had ADD or something all my life and never knew it because I've always been that way. I can't uh, put things together. I get real impatient. It's like, oh God, I, I can't do this. I just soon give it away. <laughs> Let them put it together. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Hope you had a good weekend and um, have a good start to the new week. Bye. Love you.